Hey there, good man fam. Now, a lot of you all have probably heard of a creator called Mr. Let Go. And sometimes I think that he tries to be so middle ground that he actually starts pandering to one side and is usually a feminine side. But if you see this video playing in the background, I was going to play this video for you, but they had so much cursing in it that I didn't feel like cutting it all out. So I just thought I'd just tell you what it is that was going on at the beginning of this video. What happened is he and a guy who's at the bottom were having a conversation. And what Mr. Let Go was saying was something that drives me absolutely nuts that these modern females say about the red pill, which is that these men over on this side of the aisle are quote unquote B-I-T-C-H in, okay? In other words, just complaining. And it drove me crazy because the gentleman at the bottom, he made a great argument of just because there are some people in it doing that does not mean that that's what it is. And I use this as an example. I've used this before as well. A gun is actually something that is built for one purpose and one purpose only. That's to shred things. That's for what a gun is built. However, an individual who grabs a car and uses it to shred people driving through a crowd and ending a bunch of lives is not using that thing for what it was actually built. A vehicle was built to transport people and things. So if a person uses that to shred people, that does not mean that's what that thing is. What is the actual red pill is individuals being these vehicles, which is we're using this to transport information. However, there are some people who will grab the vehicle and go and end lives, i.e. start complaining and B-I-T-C-H. The guy was trying to tell Mr. Let Go this, but Mr. Let Go started doing something that was really weird for a guy. He started using a feminine frame and how he was looking at things. And it was driving me freaking crazy. Well, I see these guys doing this and this is my frame of reference. And the guy at the bottom is like, well, you know, your perception doesn't necessarily mean that that's reality. And then Mr. Let Go started talking about, wait, you trying to say that my reality doesn't matter? And I'm sitting there like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the same type of bull crap I've heard modern females doing, which is whatever it is I perceive means that reality is that. There's a saying that I coined a while ago, and it says that just like that saying that says, I think, therefore I am, I feel, therefore it is, is the mantra of females. It's a term that I coined. I feel, therefore it is, my copyright. And so Mr. Let Go was doing the same thing that these females do, particularly modern females, which is whatever it is that I feel is reality. And the guy's trying to tell him, no, that's not it. See, the thing about the red pill is very simple. The red pill is just telling men what the actual reality is of females and how the world views men. Then it says, in order for you to overcome it, these are the things that you need to do, period. That is the red pill. It tells the truth about how the world thinks about you in feminine nature. And then it says, in order for you to win, these are the things that you have to do. That's all. But somehow, Mr. Let Go is believing that whatever he thinks is reality is reality. So because he sees guys so-called complaining in the red pill, that somehow means that that's what the red pill actually is, which is so far from the truth, it's ridiculous. Because that would mean that the majority of the guys would be doing that. So you all tell me something. Are the majority of the guys in the red pill complaining? Nah, not even close. They're just telling these females one simple thing and they're saying it with their mother freaking chest. We ain't dealing with your bull crap no more in the West.